This episode of Capes and Lunatic Sidekicks is brought to you by Tweaked Audio. To get awesome headphones, go to tweakedaudio.com and use the coupon code SOUTHGATE to get 30% off, free shipping, and a lifetime warranty. Or you can get there through the link on our website, southgatemediagroup.com. This Luca Parrish, and you are listening to Vacation in the Lunatic Sidekicks podcast. What about our Quasar podcast, The Glottom Zone? What about our Quasar podcast? <laughs> Wendell Vaughn, the first Earthman ever appointed protector of the universe, bonded to the energy transforming quantum bands that are both weapons and symbols of his station, he plays an ongoing battle to defend all life in the universe from cosmic evil as Quasar. Hello and welcome back to the Quantum Zone for the 131st time. I am Phil, joining me as always, master of the Quantum Zone. I am Will. Hey, everyone. And hey, get yourself a case of the giggles. Get, go catch some of that uh, Kona virus. It is. This is Matt Kona. I just came back from my jetpack ride over California, and boy, am I tired. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else get jealous? They heard God jetpack. I was like, man, I want one of <laughs> Rocketeer. Oh, man. Get to meet Howard Hughes. <laughs> Love the Rocketeer. I got the comic book adaptation recently and picked it up. Uh, I'm a I think that I think that had like ru- uh, art by Russ Manning, who was, coincidentally enough, the co-creator of Marvel Boy Ooh. back in the 50s. Oh, wow. if, I, if I'm remembering correctly. Otherwise, I could just be making this crap up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, good evening, gentlemen. Who is that? Who? All right. Who is that on Facebook? So it just says Facebook users. Is that you, Lilith? Is it, oh, it's just I was going to say, it's probably Lilith or Soshin. Well, first off, they call this gentleman, so. I don't know. Oh, that's well, reminds me. So they're already showing questionable judgment. That reminds me. Did you hear the new drop? Uh, the Matt Kona drop? Duck it, Lilith. Duck it, Lilith. Duck it, Lilith. Anytime she gets out of line now, I'm just like. Duck it, Lilith. <laughs> oh, Ray! Oh, look, we got a celebrity, Ray. It's Ray from Hey Ray. Ray from uh, <laughs> yes, it's Kona's backup Avenger. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait a second, there's one. There's Reynaldo, and then there's a Facebook user. So is that you, Sochin? Mm-hmm. Oh, do we have two? Oh, do we have Ray and Sochin in the room? Oh, nice. Wait, I always thought they were the same person. Mm. Yeah, we never saw them together. No, they're Sochian and then raised the Skrull imposter. Ah, that's right. Australian Skrull. I got you. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, at work. At work desk. That's Ray. That's Ray. <laughs> Fight. Who's he fighting? Uh, that might be Ray. That Vegeta might be Ray. Oh! <laughs> You know, Ray from uh, Last Sons of Krypton, a Superman podcast, to Knowers to Fear Her, the Spider Woman, a Spider Woman podcast, and of course, the podcast we would be uh, guest guesting on uh, this weekend, Into the Night, the, the Moon the Knight Moon podcast. <laughs> yes. Did you see? I told him he went all DC now because uh, you see, it, there's the Batman coming out, the Suicide Squad. Yeah. The <laughs> Flash. And oh, he did it before so they nice. did, so he was totally the trendsetter there. Uh, <laughs> Ray. <laughs> the. Oh, yeah, did you see? Yeah, so I guess Marvel, not wanting to be uh, associated with them, changed the, the name of the Eternals movie was The Eternals, and they took the the off there real quick. Now it's just Eternals. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> So I guess that's the that's the that must be the branding now. Anything DC or Ray has the the <laughs> yeah, this is trademark. <laughs> oh no, I might sue for copyright infringement, Ray. Sue, well, I'm sue glad DC. they didn't go for Eternals 1984. <laughs> <laughs> 1984. Oh lord, that's coming out. 
Wonder Woman, Black Widow eventually. Oh, hey, did anyone see New Mutants? Because I guess there it was whatever theaters were open. It did hit theaters last in the weekend. Uh, a buddy, a buddy of mine saw it in the theaters. I, I didn't see it. I, I saw some, I saw mm-hmm. I saw something on Twitter that I thought was probably one of the funniest comments ever. Mm-hmm. The guy said the creators of the New Mutants movie were so concerned about getting everything right for them for getting magic right for the movie that they spent three years in limbo. Yeah. <laughs> That's a Kona, that's a Kona joke right there if I ever heard it. I can't take credit for it, but I thought it was brilliant. So. Suck it, Miller. Yeah. Anytime she has like a good pun, she goes suck it, Kona. So, so no, even though it wasn't Kona, all right. Suck it, Miller. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but did you hear? I mean, there was like even controversy about that movie because like uh, they cast the uh, you know Sunspot. The director was like, oh, you wanted to make the uh, actor look like he came for money, so he cast like a light-skinned Brazilian. Oh, I hadn't read any of that yet, no. And, uh, well, what was the, what's the one creator's name? Not Sinkevich, but the other one. Um, Let's see, Bob McLeod? Bob or... McLeod, yeah. They misspelled his last name, and we all, everyone was like, his was, the, his was the easiest last name to spell, and that's the one they misspelled. Yeah, oh, I no. right. After, after four <laughs> years. <laughs> And, and like, there's a lot of reviews from overseas because, you know, there's more theaters right now open over there. It was like, yeah, for, it, it, they've been playing with this thing for four years and all the reviews were like, eh. <laughs> yeah. But like they said, no harm, no foul because, you know, Fox paid Fox paid to get that movie made and now <laughs> Disney owns it. So I guess they're just like, yeah, whatever we get for it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm surprised they just do, do, do Disney Plus with it. Yeah. Just it's not even... Play. It's not even, uh, I mean, some movies are digital, like the new Bill and Ted. It, you could, it's in theaters, but it's also, you can rent it for yeah. 20 bucks or so. And, and I just checked Amazon and New Mutants is not on it, so I don't know. Oh, uh, hey, Will, pun of the night. Look, Ray loved your pun. <laughs> like I said, questionable, uh, <laughs> questionable judgment <laughs> yeah i don't know why i didn't they should have just threw it on disney plus like they could have did the milan thing but i don't know if i charge 30 bucks on top for that um you know maybe like hey if you have disney plus pay us like an extra five bucks and you can watch new mutants or something yeah but yeah they misspelled uh yeah bob mcleod's name the easiest name that's what they said they were like they got sinkevich right they uh they got claremont right but they <laughs> misspelled the cloud with clouds like six <laughs> letters and they misspelled it I think they added in an A or something. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, and then they cast a light skinned uh, Brazilian actor for uh, yeah. In the comics, the character's dark, dark skin, and they're like, "Yeah, hey, he made him one to look like he came for money." It's like, Ugh. oh yeah. <sighs> so oh, any good comics last week? Uh oh, okay. I got that three Jokers one. Oh, what the, what did you think? We talked about. Um, I, I liked it. I don't know. I mean, I, 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 I've really not, a don't have much of a frame of reference in terms of like the current day Batman. It sort of seems like some stuff I've read, it's, it's a little bit outside the canon for it, but I like the, I like the artwork and seems like a good mystery. You know, it's cool that a detective comic is, uh, <laughs> Embroidered in some mystery or embroiled, embroidered. Um, all right, all right. Let me set let me set up the premise for Will. Okay. Uh, all right. So, so I guess supposedly uh, that's my Batman music. All right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No. Supposedly there's like three Jokers. I don't know if Joker created two other Jokers, but I didn't even get this reading it. Lilith had to explain it to me that I guess there's been like one Joker messing with Batgirl. He's the one who shot her in Killing Joke. There's there's another Joker's the one who killed Jason Todd, and then. Another one's been messing with Batman, but it's like, so, yes, yeah, supposedly and there's Joker's not one guy, it's three guys. And I'm like, okay, Batman's supposed to be the world's greatest detective. And you're telling me this guy never figured out he was dealing with more than one guy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. even if it, ugh, I'm just like, it, it would think it would have been more believable with clones or robots or something, but it's just like, oh yeah, three guys. I'm like, oh, okay, you couldn't tell by body language or nothing. I mean, I'll buy because I think they even threw it into the story. I'll buy them. Maybe it, like dunking them in chemicals messes with their DNA or burns their fingerprints off, so he can't identify the guys. Yeah. But I'm like, he can't tell by body language or something. 
or he can't tell that, oh, hey, I've got him in custody right now and the other ones are doing something somewhere else. Well, that's what finally happens in this story. It's like, oh, yeah, the Joker seems to have struck it, you know, three places at the same time. I'm like, this never happened before. <laughs> or two, you know, yeah. one taking a vacation. I mean, come on. Yeah. Or it's like, and they had like, some timeshares and they fell through. So now they're <laughs> yes. all happening at once. <laughs> And I'm just like, like at, the, like at the end of the killing, or not killing joke, uh, death in the family, like Joker goes down in his helicopter and then it takes him a while to come back because I think they even show later on he was like injured or something. And I'm like, well, if there's three of them, only one of them got injured. There's yeah. only one of them in that damn <laughs> helicopter. How long have there been three Jokers? I don't know. They haven't explained it yet. I mean, well, I mean, yeah. they kind of hinted at it at the end of New 52 back in, again, another project that's taken four years to come out, 2016. <laughs> And then they've been teasing this for four years. And then, yeah, issue one came out last week. It's a monthly, right? It's just three issues. Yeah, it's just it's three, yeah. An issue per Joker. But I did get that. <laughs> I think that, I, I mean, it's, sadly, I think that's the point, yeah. <laughs> I got that at the store, though. Ah, it's one of the free wait. freebies. Oh, the card? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Who does the art on that? Um, it doesn't say, but I, I don't know if it. It might be Jason Fabok who does the art for three for the issue. So, did you have a, a choice of cover? Did you just go with the standard? Um, one? the guy just pulled one for me, so I just uh, yeah, I, I bought that one. I which think it's one, which it, one is that? I think it's the one with him holding the crowbar. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. His trademark now. Yeah, there's a few. There's like one for like each of the three Jokers, and then I think there's one with all three of them on there. I think there might even be a Batman one. There's there a- is. There's a Batman one. There's a the Joker who laughs, who is not, as far as I know, involved in this story, just the cover. And then there is the Crowbar one, the Fish one, and the Time Bomb one, or just maybe a bomb, regular sticks of dynamite bomb. And then there's a limited to 25 all green cover. Ah. But yeah, but yeah, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, they they, they refer to each Joker. The one's the comedian, one's the criminal, and what's the third one? Uh, uh, I don't know. It's something. Yeah, I mean, but again, yeah. they really haven't explained the whole thing because again, it's only the first issue. But yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and then the, then the Joker Wars going on, which I think is unrelated, but <laughs> hopeful. Hopefully, I mean. Hopefully, Dick Grayson's getting his full memory back soon. So, yeah, there's preview. There's preview art of upcoming issues with him back in his regular costume. So, mm-hmm. uh, uh, oh, uh, Will Ray, uh, yeah, Ray was saying uh, no, he wasn't talking about your pun. He was talking about the crossover division. Oh, cool! Everyone should pick up <laughs> crossover division. He said it's fun as heck. Coming in November to Kickstarter. Nice. <laughs> Thanks, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you, Ray. Sounds like a plan, Jan. He's like, he, he's like, hey, get back talking about Batman. Batman. Yeah. <laughs> I can't get enough of that Batman. Yeah. The Batman. Yeah, but oh yeah, by the time this hits the podcast, um, I don't know far into the night. Yeah, this weekend, him and I are going to be talking uh, the Blood Brothers arc from Mark Spector, Moon Knight. It's like issues 30, what is it? Uh, 5, 35, 36, 37, 38, something like that. <laughs> It's the criminal, the comedian, and the clown. Comedian, criminal, clown. Yes, clown. Yeah. However, I'm gonna. Yeah. There we go. Ah! Ray goes. No, enough Batman. <laughs> what more Batman? You say? Batman. We're talking Joker's, not Batman. Yeah, okay. Ray. <laughs> so, oh, sorry. We, sorry, we're not talking about Moon Knight and Bushman. Uh. Oh, Guardians of the there's a new issue of Guardians of the Galaxy coming out tomorrow, so I'll let you know if Quasar shows up, but I don't know the feeling awesome. is, I don't think it's gonna be yet, but No, I think it's probably gonna be several months out, at least according to that interview that you Oh you yeah, I mean from the out. sounds of it, Al Ewing used the uh, quarantine to get ahead, so I think he would be saying great ten or <laughs> issue ten or eleven already. Wow. His uh, Immortal Hulk is really awesome. Yeah, I've it been is. catching up with that. I just read uh, volume two. Oh Our nice. Cover last week and yeah it's really good oh heck really yeah really good. I, I love he like he like brings in a bunch of the old stuff he even like makes like uh he has like easter eggs from like the tv show and stuff yeah <laughs> he, was, he even includes my favorite hulk the gray hulk well joe fix it but he's he doesn't have his body he's like stuck in banner's body i just read that issue yeah <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> 
That's funny. He just like you know it's Joe when he's like wearing the Hawaiian t shirts and stuff. <laughs> uh all right, so should we get to this issue? Let's yes. do it. <laughs> should we should we call this the uh the penultimate issue before Star Blast? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Next week, Star Blast number one. Sorry. Warlock is just so annoying. Yes. Sorry. Yeah, Warlock fans. I just, I just can't. Well, at least we, <laughs> at least we get him written by Grunwald this time, and not Starlin. So, I don't know. I think he was genetically engineered to be a douche. Uh, all right. So yes, we're up to Quasar fifty three from December nineteen ninety three. Mm. To the fifth power, you'll get that joke in a little bit. If you look to the cover, I think it's to the tenth power. But. Hey, Will, are you muted? I believe you are. I cannot silence Will's voice. Oh, yeah, sorry. Was muted. I was going to say, l- unless, you're, unless you're like practicing giggling without making a sound, it's like... <laughs> oh. No, I'm practicing to be a mime. Nice. Oh, uh, Ray said... If you put your mind to it, you could accomplish anything. I guess Ray <laughs> has to go back and do actual work, but he said agreed about Warlock, Moon Dragon, more. Uh, I kind of like the dragon a little bit. Uh, she looks better in the outfit, <laughs> right? Right, Will? Uh. All right, so. There's five warlocks. You think one's bad? Try five. Times five. To the fifth power. Sure. Uh, but yes, Mark Grunold, writer. John Hebink, penciler. Ralph Cabrera, inker. Janice Chang, letterer. Paul Beckton, colorist. Mike Rockwitz, editor. Ralph Macchio, Group editor, Tom DeFelco, chief editor. All right, so <clears throat> back at Project Pegasus. For years, scientists at Project Pegasus, the U.S. government's mammoth research complex in upstate New York, have been engaged in exhaustive studies of every source and form of energy known to man. Thus, it isn't every day that one of them encounters a form of energy he cannot even identify. Subject, Kayla Ballantyne. Female, Caucasian, age 24. Chief researcher, Dr. Pons in Denbaum, a project veteran with a background in cosmic radiation who has spent the past five years in human research. Witness, Wendell Vaughn, also known as the quantum-powered hero Quasar. Hmm. So maybe that's his first problem. Instead of Project Pegasus, why don't you take, well, I was going to say take her to Reed Richards, but is this the point where he's quote-unquote dead? I don't. Yeah, remember. we'll start. Well, during Star Blast, it's when he's he's gone, so he might be. Oh. Gone. I think he's gone. Yeah. yeah. So okay, Doctor Str- Doctor Strange, maybe Bruce, Bruce Banner, Tony Stark. Uh, yeah, but with like like alien, for, you know, all other dimensional forms of uh, Reed Richards would be your number one. But yeah, Doctor Strange. Well, he couldn't get Squadron Supreme home, so huh. yeah, that's true. <laughs> all right. Uh, so I don't know who wants to be the Doctor, but. I figure I'll be the doctor if that's all right with Matt, and he can have uh, the fun, fun with Warlock later in the right. issue. Sure, <laughs> sure, doctor, yeah. doctor. All right. <clears throat> you sure this isn't causing her any discomfort, doctor? None of the probes are invasive. What was it you said you believed was the source of your friend's exotic energies? The star brand on the back of her scalp. It's from another dimension. It, I'm, uh, I think it, it should must. be it, but it says I, <laughs> it, yes. Yeah. It must be. I've studied scores of energy manipulating individuals, but I've never seen readings like this. Electromagnetic, sequ- electromagnetic sequencing is off the chart. I figured that much, Doctor. What I want to know is if the brand can be safely removed from her. Too soon to tell. Oh, I'm Kayla. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> this isn't fun at all. I thought I was rid of the star brand when I gave it to my roommate, but I somehow got it back again, and I'm never going to be rid of it, am I? Wait, am I never going to be rid of it? Am I going to have to spend the rest of my life in and out of mad scientist labs? Difficult to see someone you care for treated like the superhuman felons we house here, isn't it? Yeah, Arcana, it is. Especially since it's my fault she's got the power in the first place. Yes, you brought the Starbrand energy from another universe, didn't you? Yep, some protector of the universe I am personally importing new dangers from other dimensions and giving them to my friends. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Kayla? I'm coming! As he comes flying into the room through the window. 
Uh, it's okay, Kay. It's okay. Wait, did I miss something? Kay. Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, when uh, felt oh, like I was suffocating, like I was going to burst if I didn't move. Oh, sorry. Oh, Wendell, I was thinking of my, I'm trying to. This page doesn't flow good for me. Sorry. No. <laughs> oh, Wendell, I, I was thinking of my mother, how she kept having to go to the hospital until finally she never came out. Please, I don't want that to happen to me. It won't, sweetness. I promise you. If you don't want them to run tests on you, that's how it'll be. As he brings her out of the room. Bring her clothes. We're leaving. But I... End of discussion. And... <laughs> as she's getting her clothes... There you go, Miss Valentine. I've got to talk to the project director. You go change. Dr. Wilburn, how good of you to stop by. Now, I want to know what the heck kind of facility you're running here. Yesterday, your staff's exam of the angler caused him to run berserk. Issue number 51. Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Now your test on my girlfriend. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Vaughn. I'll have them run diagnostics on what they did to see what happened. But if I may hazard a guess, the fault was not in our instruments, but in your friend's sudden power surge. I'm glad no one was hurt. But from what you've said, she's pretty impervious to harm anyway. We'll need to run more tests. No. Sir, she's not a guinea pig, she's not sick, and her condition is not life-threatening. All she wants is to be rid of the power that's in her. All I want is you people to tell me if that can be safely done. I can't tell you that. Not without more tests. You must realize that. I'm not willing to make her undergo more tests, sir. She's got a phobia about hospitals. I just learned. Uh, well, then we're stymied. Guess so, as he's walking away. Uh, when you get her to change her mind, we'll be here. Used to work here, you know we have the finest facilities on Earth. <laughs> and if Reed Richards was alive, he'd be like, hey, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I'll just have to go off Earth then. Good day, Doctor. Perhaps I could help you, Quasar. I might be able to mystically suppress her phobias. No thanks. I'd rather not have her mind messed with any more than it has been. And soon in the Project parking lot... <laughs> Uh, so long, Quaze. Don't make a stranger of yourself. Yeah, if you need help saving the world, don't hesitate to call the squadron. I'm just happy none of the angular slashes could keep you guys down for long. And tell Quasar, Miss Valentine, that unless he brings you with him, he's not invited back. Quasar <laughs> grabs her hand and takes it in the air, and that's that. <laughs> Why is this happening to me, Wendell? I gave the star bread away. Nobody gave it back to me. That I'm aware of, and yet somehow I still have it. I told you that when this cosmic guy called the Living Tribunal took the brand from your roommate, he told me he had disposed of it someplace. Issue number 50, according to Mike. <laughs> Three weeks ago. <laughs> Three weeks ago. He must have figured the best way to dispose of it was by giving it back to you. But why? Why me? You happen to be a very nice person, Kay. Maybe he wanted to give it to someone who wouldn't misuse it. Can I just pass it on to you? I don't think that's a good idea. You see, even if you pass it on, you retain a part of it. What we have to figure out is how to get rid of it completely. Um, is that me? Oh, yeah. I think, yeah. Look, ever since we got back together, we've done nothing but cope with one crisis after another. What do you say we try to relax and forget about our problems for just a night? And do what? Do whatever two normal New Yorkers in their 20s do. Go out on a date, have fun... You know. Okay. And that night. I'm really glad you talked me into this, Wendell. I really needed this. Me too. So how come you keep staring at me? <laughs> I just can't get over what you did to your hair. Yeah, well, I really didn't like looking like an obnoxious blonde on that diet show on cable. So, well, I figured the star brand could regenerate my whole body. Maybe you can get me to grow my hair back if I concentrated mm -hmm. hard enough. Guess what? You can. I'll say, man, you look great. You're not too shabby yourself, Mr. Vaughn. Is this the restaurant where they had their first date? I don't know. I keep expecting Macari to show up, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sorry, that's way back, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I think you know, maybe I'm... Maybe I'm making too much out of having the stupid star brand. I mean, I've just seen it. I've seen it's good for something. Maybe I could just learn to control it. 
then I wouldn't have to worry about accidentally doing something dumb with it. And uh, besides, if I lost it, how would I ever keep up a superhero, keep, keep a superhero like you interested in me? I felt for you long before you had the brand, K. It didn't change anything. But you're the protector of the whole galaxy. <laughs> you're probably going to have to leave Earth to go protect Mars or the Milky Way soon. If the start ran, I'll be able to come with you. Um, what am I saying? Why would you want me tagging along? It's not like we're married or anything. You know, I just thought of something. I don't know where we could get rid of the star brand. Uh, sorry. She's like pulling him away. Come on. Kayla, she takes off into the air. Is it me or is she acting a little strange as he takes off? Wait up. Ooh. The yellow glow. That must be the human torch. It's been a while since we had that joke, huh? Uh, <laughs> all back. A hundred and... 29 episodes? <laughs> I was going to say, I know the uh, issue three, but yeah, he's been, I mean, he's been mistaken for Human Torch, Nova. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, all right, so they're taking off in the air. He's changing. Don't leave me in suspense, lady. Where are we going on night out? Well, you were, well, you were surprised I chose to go out of, go out to the scene of our first night out. That was the same place mm-hmm. when I couldn't choose anywhere in the world to go. Yeah, so? So I thought of a more interesting place. We're out over the Atlantic. Mind telling me where? I want it to be a surprise. And eventually... Here we are. Where are we? I think it's called Monster Island. (laughs) (laughs) Monster Island! (laughs) I heard of that. Isn't this where the... Oh no, not you. Moon Dragon. Oh, I'll tell you. Okay, how how good to see you again, too, Quasar. You did this, Kayla, didn't you? You planted the idea in her head to come here. Admit it. I need to see her. She has changed much since we last were last together. Issue number twenty six, actually. Scroll Mike. way down. <laughs> <laughs> Long time ago. <laughs> and how would you know? I keep tabs on all my old friends. If you think I'm going to let you probe her against her will, Moon, think again. Oh, but it's not against her will, is it, Kayla? No. Come off it. You made her say that. Did I? (laughs) Kayla's just standing there. Yes, you did. Now get out of her mind before I... Listen to me, Quasar. This simple-minded woman possesses a very powerful weapon. It is in your best interest, my best interest, and the Earth's best interest for me to know exactly what she has. No, it's not. I know what she has, and I don't want anyone as mentally unstable as you messing with it. You're hurting me. I'm hurting you. Mind blast. I am not unstable, Quasar. I'm one of the Infinity Watch. I'm entrusted with one of the six Infinity Gems, some of the most powerful artifacts in all the universe. Ugh, psychic bolt. Moon pie. <laughs> Mo- who's, he? <laughs> who's he? Sheldon Cooper? Bazinga. Moon pie. You're not gonna. You're not going to examine her without one heck of a fight for me. You up for one? He's fresh and dusty. No. That's why I summoned him. Hello, Quasar. Captain Douche. (laughs) Wendell. Another mind blast. (laughs) Pardon my karmic blast. What? What have you done to him? Uh, Carry on, Moondragon, but be careful. Thank you, Adam. I will. Elsewhere. See Quasar floating through some void, <laughs> like meteors and stuff. Where am I? Where did Warlock blast me? Kayla, I've got to get back to Kayla before Moon Dragon rips her mind open and steals the Star Brand from her. Do not fear, Quasar. You're not here alone. Warlock's here, and he saved me from a six meteor pallet. What's the scam? <laughs> Sounds like a blind, Jan. <laughs> <laughs> Only thing is, I don't need saving. Where do you get off, pal, yanking me into one of your hallucinations? No hallucination. We are on the psychic plane, a place I believe a person of your limited mental abilities has never visited, correct? You better get out of my head here, golden boy, before I get mad. That time you beat me during the Infinity War was just a fluke, you know. See Quasar number 39, and judge for yourself. During Infinity War, (laughs) yep. Before all the Marvel Boy stuff, huh? I got distracted. Hmm. 
I knew your predecessor, Captain Marvell. I've been meaning to determine how worthy a successor you are since we first met. Yeah? What if I don't care what you think of me as he puts a quantum... What is that? I don't know. It's like a quantum head uh, cage with a nozzle drilled through the To extract forehead. the gem from yeah. his forehead? Yeah. Ah, okay, yeah. yeah trying to ah! <laughs> uh, that thing on your head? Oh, that's just an infinity gem extractor. How's it working? Oh, it seems to have done something that he didn't expect. <laughs> we just see a bunch of warlocks coming out of that one, yeah. Yeah, you got four non uh, helmet extractor warlocks <laughs> behind him. There's one that's just bare chested, one that has just the chest piece, and then two that look pretty similar. I think, th- yeah, I think they're all past versions of himself. So. Yeah. Whoops. Worley's got company crawling out of him, and they all kind of look like him. We are karmic manifestations of Warlock's past selves. Each of us has a test for you to do in order to demonstrate your psychic fitness as protector of the universe. Your tests. I'm Eon's <laughs> chosen champion. Oh man, he's mad, man. <laughs> I don't need it. I don't need to prove anything to you. Now let me get back to my woman. You will be reunited with her soon enough, says four warlocks at once as they <laughs> shoot uh, infinity blast into his chest. What? What are you? Whoa! Versions of me in all my past guises. Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., security chief for Project Pegasus, fledgling protector of the universe, and avatar of infinity. Wait a minute. So, so shouldn't one of those costumes not exist? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, and yeah. <laughs> well, he remembers it, so I wonder if it's it, it's there because he remembers it. Uh, you get a no prize. You get a no prize. Hmm. <laughs> yes. It seems you are a man of as many aspects of myself. I can respect that. Now, each of my past selves will pose each of yours a moral quandary. I told you before, you sanctimonious slug. I have no time for your mind games. Get me. Out now. There's no way out of here except through me. The five of you could engage in pointless fisticuffs with the five of me, or your five selves could, so could submit to my five selves' favorite dilemmas. You answer each one truthfully, and I promise I will escort you out. <sighs> All right, we submit. All right, now Banana Hammock Warlock approaches uh, uh, Agent of Shield Quasar or Wendell. I am Warlock's earliest self. I am called him. Are you ready, Quasar number one? Lieutenant Wendell Vaughn is ready, sir. (laughs) Uh, Dilemma one. You are sworn to protect life, but you are thrown back in time, and you happen upon a small child who you know will grow up to slaughter millions of people. Do you kill the child while you have the chance? Yes. One life is not worth millions. Classic Hitler dilemma. Mm -hmm. Dilemma two. He poses this to a red red headband quasar. I think I was security chief of Project Pegasus. Yeah. A planet containing intelligent life is about to be destroyed by a giant meteor unless you get there in in a matter of moments. But at the same time, your best friend is trapped in a spacesuit with a broken helmet. Who do you save? The intelligent race. Dilemma three. The only way to stop one galaxy class menace is by making a deal with another galaxy class menace who will probably prove to be deadlier than the first. Do you make the deal? No, I'd find another way to vanquish the first. Dilemma four. This is asked to uh, blue face mask cape quasar you learn that the entity that gave you your wrist weapons is actually evil and every time you use them he grows stronger though you have strived to do only good with them you are inadvertently fostering the cause of evil what do you do i kill him then give up the bands forever dilemma five infinity and eternity the embodiment of the universe totality Determine that for the good of the universe, you must die. Do you willingly submit yourself to them? Yes. 
Interesting. Your answers are very similar to Marvell's. Four out of five the same. Oh, yeah? Which one was different? That would be telling. Now return <laughs> me to reality. Which do you think is the one? I don't know. Did, did they have? Did they do that? I'm trying to remember because I've I've read some of those Marvel think... issues, but I don't remember if he if Eon actually like tested or Warlock tested it. I, I don't think so. Because I know so someone was asking him. I'm assuming this is Soshin, I think, but yeah, he's he's even wondering. You know, I'm gonna say he answered the the one about using the wristbands, even though it causes the creator more power differently. I don't know. It seems like that's a very specific answer. Like, kill him and then stop using them. I think Marvel probably would have just, like, stopped using them and found another way to vanquish the creator of them. That's just pure fanfic speculation on my part. But, I mean, because he asked the question, I mean, you know, the first question was was what was the first question? Uh, the go, go back in time and, you know, kill baby Hitler. I mean, that seems very soldiery. I mean, Marvel was a soldier, I think. Yeah. Both of those. And then I think they would have answered the first two, excuse me, the first two pretty much the same. Mm-hmm. I was trying to do a quick search to see if I could find it somewhere, but. Yeah. I don't know. I would have to say. That's my pick. Yeah. I would say three or four would be the ones that are different. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. I think okay. one, two, and five are probably the same. Yeah. All right. You never left. <laughs> Uh, but I didn't turn the page. Okay. Hello? Have you finished? Yes. Kayla, are you okay? I think so. Mooney, if you've messed with her head. Self-righteous as ever, aren't you, Quasar? I have determined that the Starbrain is a power source from beyond this multiverse, and that Kayla is probably as good a possessor of it as any of the Watchar of the Infinity Gems. Uh, you didn't have, you didn't happen to find any way to safely remove the brand, then. Uh, wait, hang on. Oh, yeah, because it kind of goes no. across the, the these two pages. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's this window down at the bottom, right? Um, well, here, the on page 29, uh, I just said, yeah, you didn't happen to find any way to safely remove the brand then? Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I see. Yeah, man, uh, scroll back its power was, ali- it was so alien to me that he, not even the enhanced, per- my, not even my enhanced perceptions could determine so. He grabs Kayla. Okay, that's it. We're out of here. Uh, farewell, you. Uh, fare you well, Quasar. I look forward to our next meeting. Yeah, maybe next time we can play 20 questions. <laughs> uh, so they gotta find out over the ocean again. You sure you're alright, Kay? Just a little headache. That's all. Like, someone was tramping around inside my head. There was a tramp in your head. <laughs> someone was. But I promise to do everything in my power so that doesn't happen again. Phasing in location 15.6 units from the surface of the Earth's satellite. We are invisible to the denizens of Earth hidden behind their moon. Skeleton scanners pick up an interstellar vessel, possibly with Shi'ar markings in the vicinity. Maintain fixed orbit for now. I have no wish to betray our presence in meaningless battle. We will commence our assault on Earth from here. (laughs) This says in three weeks, but in one week, (laughs) the beginning of the most Cosmos kicking crossover yet. Yeah, no kids. Sorry. (laughs) Now, with Quasar smack in the center. Star Blast. I'm just looking at these letter pages and every answer is just like, oh, see Star Blast coming up next week, coming up in a few weeks. <laughs> Skeletron. Skeletor Megatron. They had a baby, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Seems like it. Seems like it. <laughs> Skeletron. Ah, Skeletron. <laughs> oh, we got another message. Incoming transmission. <laughs> We'll just maintain a fixed orbit here, okay? <laughs> a, a young a young lady says, suck at Matt Kona. Oh, that happens. <laughs> <laughs> what, do all the ladies tell you that? Uh, no, no. Okay, don't worry, I'll, I'll answer for you. Suck it, Miller. Suck it, Miller. You're kind of fan fiction. What, the sucking? What? Oh, Is that man. what you're talking about, Lilith? 
With her Peter Parker uh, profile picture. Oh, look at uh, look how easily I said that. Peter Parker profile picture. <laughs> pick a peck of pickle peck. Never mind. Hey, can you say that three times fast? That, 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 that. that, 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 that. Thank you. <laughs> Dad jokes unite. That's right. Uh, uh, Miller. Uh, <laughs> Peter Parker, as Lil Fi call him, uh, Spider Man is uh, the original king of the selfies. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Since the 60s, no. man. <laughs> Before they were cool. <laughs> uh, I heard a good dad joke online the other day. Here we go. It said, someone told me to name two things that hold water. And I was like, well, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That is such it's a dad joke. <laughs> Get back to the story, nerds. We just finished it, nerd. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> That's what she said. Get back to no. Well, if you know the drill, we just finished the issue, so you know what comes next, right? Feedback from you know who, Ray, host of as we already said, Last Sons of Krypton, a Superman podcast. To know her is to fear her, the Spider Woman podcast, and gentlemen, host of Into the Night, the The Moon Knight Knight podcast. (laughs) All right, so. Seriously, Ray, you can't pay for this kind of advertising. <laughs> All right, so, ooh, must have thought, had some big thoughts on this. Yes, Ray, love. Uh, five. <laughs> All right, sit back for exactly five minutes of Ray from uh, Into the Night, the Moon Knight podcast. <laughs> Hello, Will, Matt, and Phil. Uh, this is, of course, Ray. Of course, dropping in some thoughts for two fifty three for the Quantum Zone. Your current episode uh so yeah i read this last night i thought i'd um just give you some brief thoughts uh i, I thought it was um yeah it was a, a a decent issue uh nothing too much i mean i think the the action didn't reach any heady heights um the the character development was was pretty cool um just a bit more on wendell and uh and kayla and her powers uh, what I did find, uh, I guess, sticking out points was uh, Moon Dragon, quite invasive, trying to, and had felt almost wrong <laughs> and dirty that Warlock helped um, helped Moon Dragon kind of invade Kayla's mind um, by taking Wendell out of the picture. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I'm not not feeling it for uh, for Moon Dragon at the moment. Uh, she's a weird character, and she's got what? She's got one of the Infinity Gems. Oh, it's, they're, they're, they're a weird group, that Infinity Watch. But um, I'm not sure, yeah, how I feel, uh, if I do like them or not. I mean, it's always cool to see Warlock, and it was a great reference, because I do remember that fight that Quasar had. We, all intents and purposes. Come on, guys, you know Quasar won that fight. He was distracted. <laughs> so he beat, he beat Warlock in my head cannon. But um, yeah, it was a. I don't. Know, I enjoyed Another the issue. Dad it was decent enough. It wasn't. It kind of. I don't want to say flatlined, but um, it just. It seemed to. I don't know. And say plot along, but it seemed to kind of meander along, uh, in a good way, uh, but it just didn't really go into you know third or fourth gear. Um, the fight with it was good. Actually, no. Having said that, what I do like and the big um, highlights for me were the. Was it the dilemma? I can't remember. The five dilemmas that are opposed towards Quasar. Uh, and interesting to hear. And actually, I think the first two or three responses by Quasar, it did actually surprise me. Um, I thought he would have gone the more kind of emotional route. It seemed a little bit more pragmatic. Um, and interesting as well that Marvel answered four of the five questions as to what the, the question that they got wrong, or that they got different. Um, I guess we'll, we'll have to wait and see. It was good to see the, the different iterations of Quasar. Um, good to see a little fleeting bit of Maelstrom. Such a cool villain. Uh, but yeah, no, th- that was the interesting bit, I thought. And let's let's face it, I think that's kind of what Grunwald was setting up. That was what his big punchline, I guess, for this, this issue was. Were those, uh, those, those questions, the introspective questions. Um, so the art, um, I wasn't wasn't too kind of uh, 
happy about the art. I thought, I mean, thought the art was okay. It wasn't great. Um, I think this is what the problem is with um, with the, the latter issues of Quasar. Um, I think it, unfortunately, to the detriment of it. I mean, I think with a better artist, um, Grunwald's story would be propped up a little bit more. Uh, but having said that as well, it it's, it's definitely looks like it's a little bit of a lost a lost series at the moment. Um, and at the end, with uh, those... Was it Skeletron? That's awesome. <laughs> uh, I've, I have no idea what's going to happen next. I don't know what's going to... Skele- uh, it just seems Skeletor- like it's, it's entering some, some big-grade sci-fi movie kind of universe. Oh, anyway, no. uh, those are my thoughts. So not entirely disappointed with it. Mm-hmm. I like the introspection. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is a far cry from the, the big events that have happened, Cosmos in Collision, Infinity Gauntlet, Infinity War, uh, and it just seems to be, yeah, I don't know, reaching a plateauing into kind of like a, a flat norm. Anyway, um, I'll be looking forward to your read-through anyway. Uh, that's always fun. But, uh, yeah, interesting to hear your thoughts. Uh one question before I go: What question do you think uh, was the differing one between Marvel and Quasar? Which question do you think Quasar answered that was different from Marvel? Um, I I wouldn't really have a clue. Maybe the third one about leaving his dying friend to to save a race. I, I don't know. Anyway, um, can you hear what you what you think? Catch you later. Catch ya. Yeah. Uh... I just love the I just love the little uh, the little group meeting we have in the back in the in the uh, chat here while that's going on, you know. So I guess Ray popped his head back in, and Lilith was like, "Hey, look, Ray shows up to listen to his own feedback." <laughs> and then I th- I'm pretty sure this is Sochin, but he says, "I hate Adam Warlock." Yeah, don't we all? Marvel's made him so overpowered and arrogant. I'd love for Quasar to put him in his place. Yes, but sadly, the quantum bands just don't measure up to the Infinity Gems. <laughs> Give him a chance. He never got a proper chance. And then Ray. Actually, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yes. And then Ray. <laughs> Lilf about to pop out for a spot of tennis for lunch. Ra ra. <laughs> <laughs> what a fancy uh, man. <laughs> yeah. Um, I kind of think. I don't know. I, I, I get kind of why, you know, what Ray was saying about how the book's kind of plateaued. And I think it. Yeah. I think Star Blast was supposed to reignite it, but it was so poorly executed that's what i'm saying oh my god oh my god if he hasn't read star blast before what are we going to about to do to him i know it, instead of you know reinvigorating the book it pretty much signed its death warrant you know um but i was i was a little disappointed with grunwald because it seemed like a lot of those questions were the same thing the one or the many the one or the many yes Right. Two of them. Two of them weren't. But you know, the one, and I don't know. I just I think he was trying to get philosophical, but I just it, it seemed to fall a little flat for me. I mean, one and one it was. I mean, quite. I mean, Wendell's always been a little, you know, pragmatic and just. I don't know. We've seen he's he's been willing to sacrifice himself before, and he's always had dark thoughts from time to time too. It's true, <laughs> but I mean. And again, and, it, and again, and again, it's just like there's like no impact here. Like if Wendell had like I don't know hallucinated and thought he was in these situations, but all it was was just like a conversation. It was like, yeah, no, I do this, I do this. Yeah, <laughs> That's it. it was. Yeah, I just yeah. I, I don't think, and pardon the pun here, but I don't think Grunwald did a good job of illustrating. Yeah, I know he's not an artist, but a good job of illustrating. The questions you know he just said here's the question here's the answer and yeah you got like one panel uh, each question yeah, yeah the, and the artist drew the panel you know he didn't contextualize them he he told us not he didn't show us yeah so it was yeah, uh, yeah it was kind of a little bit disappointing there but i mean i mean he's yeah. got the quantum bands so <laughs> and i know and i know moon dragon examined kayla but i mean basically this issue is like you know wendell and kayla try to go on another date end up on Monster Island and Adam Warlock asks them five questions. And Moondragon breaks up their date again. Yeah. <laughs> so jealous. And it's a little, little random that they just would end up on Monster Island of all places. But, well, I think that's know. where the Infinity Watch was like headquartered at that point. So, yeah. 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 Moondragon was just like, yeah, I mean, come to our house. 
hey, come on. Hey, you know, if, if my date told me, hey, come on, let's go to this place. Okay, where is it? Monster Island. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to meet Mole Man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. I think there wasn't there like an issue in Infinity Watch where like, yeah, they're they're like working out like a deal with like Mole Man so they could like live there or something. Yeah, I yeah. think so. Yeah, I think it was around Infinity. Was it Infinity War? Maybe. I think, think Gauntlet. I think, or I think, War. I think it, might, it might have been right after that. Or maybe. Something. I think it was. Mole, weren't, weren't, yeah. they, weren't they launched right after Infinity Gauntlet? I so think like the early issue. I so think so. Be, just yeah, yeah, just it was there. You know, if each one of them just protected one gem there yeah they were trying to keep the whole thing with thanos you know snap from happening yeah. again yeah yeah but mole man does of all the marvel villains strike me as the most landlordy of characters you know? <laughs> Just, but, uh, because he lives because he lives he, under it he lives downstairs <laughs> yeah oh <laughs> just complain Night. about that noise <laughs> he says no pets but he has like a million of them yeah <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this is a very sort of obviously it's a transitional issue where it sort of tries to pick up where Wendell and Kayla left off and tie that up, even though they're still straying along the star brand is ever present. And then you got a sort of a big name at that time, guest star and warlock. You don't get the fight again. It's one of those deceptive covers. You don't really get the fight five on five. It's more of a battle of wits that, that, as Will pointed out, isn't as uh, intellectual as as we would have expected with the caliber of writing that Grunewald's is normally delivering of. And then, you know, you get the Skeletor <laughs> Decepticon crossover or whatever. I don't know. Deceptively hard. <laughs> yeah. So well, it is you know, what it is, but uh. actually, Matt, you brought up something there that I hadn't really realized is that you said the ever present star brand and you're right. The star brand kind of took over the book. Yeah. You know, after what issue 40, I mean, it was, well, yeah, because you know, once he lost the quantum bands, one, they'll have to use it as power, as a power mm-hmm. source. And then immediately, basically after that, it went to Kayla and her roommate and that, yeah, we got to fifty, <laughs> and then yeah, everything since then. It's you know pretty much up till the end is going to be Star Brand related. Because mm-hmm. because spoiler alert, Skele- Skeletron's going to be after that Star Brand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh please, give him something good to look forward to. <laughs> I'm sorry, but yeah, yeah that may have been a you know as good as that that issue was where Quasar went to the new universe, which was, it was an awesome issue. I loved it. Oh yeah. If, if he would have actually had it burn out and not been a part of anything going forward, maybe that would have been better for the series. I don't know. And just everything with the band, I mean, I'll try not to get too spoilery, but I mean, we could, I mean, the book had to end, I'm, you know, you know, with everything that was going on at Marvel at the time, but we could have gotten a much different ending to this book. Yeah. <laughs> Which we'll get to in January. True. Yeah. Which we'll get to in January. <laughs> Unfortunately, but until until then, hey kids, enjoy yourself some uh, Star Blast. Suck suck. <laughs> uh, oh my god! And then the art for that first issue. Oh. You know, I'm sure that they were doing. Quasar looks like he has sausage links for arms. Oh my god! Yeah, I'm sure they were doing what they thought would work, but uh, the editor, I mean, doesn't seem to even been paying attention. Uh, you know, at the time, I mean, there were even typos in this issue that we ran across, right? Mm-hmm. And they yeah. mislabeled and out of order Star Blast issues. I mean, it was like who's somebody's asleep at the wheel. It seemed like some men just want to watch the world burn. <laughs> See, love, I get you on this show, whether you want to or not. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, oh, was, is, are you calling out a drop, love? <laughs> yes, I did say sausage links. Okay. Listener request. Here we go. Sausage. Yes, that's your classy. Uh, that's your classy host of Into the Night, the Moon Knight podcast. Moon Knight podcast. Yes. <laughs> All right, are we done with this one? Yes, I think so. Uh, and again, like I said, I, this is the only cover I've seen, like as like a 
like a picture in the store, and I'm like, I ain't hanging this as a Quasar thing on my wall. He's barely on it in the corner, and I'm like, I'm not hanging that douche Adam Warlock on my wall. It's uh, Warlock, yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, so yeah, Lil said sausage. Yeah. Then Ray came back, sausage. <laughs> Jeez. But what, what if there was a, a version of it that was sort of like this size? That was what? You could put it, you could like a, a picture of the cover that was like this size, and you could put it uh, on your door a little bit above the knob, so it'd be like Adam Doorlock. <laughs> Man, you suck it, Lilith. He worked hard for that one. We got to give it to him. <laughs> you can see the. You can see the. I got, I go. I'm going with the big setups now. <laughs> Just see the confusion on your faces before I then hopefully put in a somewhat upset, acceptable punchline. I didn't know where it was going, but I I saw I the one. I was like, oh, okay, no, what, 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 what's he gonna say? Oh, okay, got it now. <laughs> uh, I think that's social media. Got a ha ha ha. Thank you, thank you. Got nothing from Ray. I don't know what was going on there. Oh, he just <laughs> threw a blank. Duck uh, it, it. There are no words for that one. Oh, but yeah, man, you better start having some kids, man, because you're mastering them dad jokes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look back at the first page of this issue. Yeah. I thought that was, I thought that was, I, I mean, I kind of like the art. I mean, I'm probably biased, but, uh, Oh, I thought the art was alright. Well, you think it? I think it like loses something towards the end here. Yeah, I think it. Yeah, once her hair grows out and he cuts his, man, it all goes downhill. Yeah. But it's only one artist, right? And one Skeletron. Day. Yeah. Skeletron. I don't know. It looks like it looks like it gets less defined as it goes on. I mean, there are some panels that look really finished, but others, this may have come up against, you know, a deadline or something like that. Oh, you know, uh, yeah, maybe a, maybe a Star Blast deadline or something. Suck, suck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Uh, oh, Ray also said he wasn't a fan of the art. Yeah. We heard your feedback. <laughs> <laughs> Lil said you showed up just to hear your feedback, Ray. All right, so... Be like Ray. Send in your feedback. Star Blast is coming. I can't wait to hear what Ray has to say about it. Star Blast issue one that comes next week. Email us, capesandlunatics at gmail.com. Lil, if you could, Lil, read something. You can send us feedback too. Uh, capesandlunatics at gmail.com. Call the voicemail 614-382-2737. That's 614-38CAPES. And remember to follow the Quantum Zone on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, find links to our uh, YouTube channel where you can watch this video. Go subscribe. Links to the uh, Patreon for our Star Trek show. Uh, we just did a free one, a freebie, so go get your taste of that. Uh, links for merchandise, everything, all in one convenient place. No, not Monster Island. That's Linktree, L-A-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash Capes and Lunatics. And remember to support the sponsors, Tweaked Audio, Hunt a Killer, Pod Life the Book, now in digital and paperback. And <laughs> I see Lil. I see, okay, Lil. I see you there. Uh, so yes, Pod Life the book now digital and paperback. And when you go on Amazon and buy all your um, well, let's can we say sex toys here like Lil Hellfire? I uh, on Amazon <laughs> use the link for Southgate Media Group right down there in the show notes. Uh, help us support this show, the network, and Rob Master Doom Southgate. Make it rain. So says Master Doom. What did you say? Uh, no, be like me, troll the live stream. That's what Lil said. Oh, <laughs> oh, Kona, Lilith, Ray, Ray's coming after both your crowns. You guys, ready for oh. this one? Yeah, it's a Star Blast joke. Ready? Isn't that a candy Star Blast? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna wish it's not gonna be sweet, my friend. It's gonna be sour. <laughs> uh. It's fine having a sausage fest. <laughs> uh, that's right. Star Blast is coming, Ray. A couple of balls down the gob. Exactly. All <laughs> right. Matt Kona, where can people find you? You can find me at Matt Kona. M-A-T-T-K-O-N-A. Uh, on that Star Trek Patreon podcast. Check it out. 
give it a taste. And I'm on Twitter and less and less, but Instagram, I like, and Facebook. I don't take, I don't check messages that often, so I get lost in group conversations, but I'm around. So I'm being friendly. Suck it, Miller. See you later, Bunky. <laughs> well, all red, master of the quantum zone. Uh, you can find me at Wallred, that's at W A L L R E D, on Gmail and Twitter and Facebook and probably Instagram and who knows where else. But uh, you can also find my self published work, Diary of Night, at diaryofnight.com. And uh, you can always find all kinds of cool stuff about Quasar at the Quantum Zone, quantumzone.org. Hey, you boys, you look at the party? I love the party. <laughs> I'll put it in my navel. Uh, all right i think hey i think we had a fun time with this tonight and this wasn't even the best of issues so i mean if we can have a good time with a bad issue star blast is going to be freaking awesome <laughs> so yes come back next time watch us watch us turn garbage into gold <laughs> your optimism is inspiring Phil. <laughs> hey hey we got the star blast issues the quasar tie-ins and then hey the tie-ins for no particular reason but some of those name more hey Lilith, we're gonna have some name more issues coming up Two, is two yeah. fantastic four. So, Lilith, issues. name more issues you're looking forward to more than those <laughs> name more issues. That's my boy. That's it. Oh, oh, suck it, Lilith. Oh, fire. <laughs> suck it, Lilith. Uh, that's right. So, yes, do your reading, kids. Star Blast number one kicks it off, and your life will never be the same. <laughs> Man, we're just like threatening people. I dare you to read Star Blast number one. <laughs> Is that a Marvel Unlimited? They're going to be like, man, why are people downloading this all of a sudden? <laughs> all right, everyone. That's right. Do your homework. Take your medicine. Star Blast number one. And remember, Quantum Zoners. Keep it karmic. Suck it, Lil. <laughs>